welcome back to Big Body Merck's YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back to Big Buddy Works YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be back. I'm so glad you guys are still here. I hope you guys can tune in, watch this video. I have some new content for y'all. Um, for the people who haven't subscribed to my page, um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to the page. Um, for this video, uh, go ahead and comment the video, like the video, share the video. It's gonna be great content. Welcome back to Big Buddy Works YouTube channel. Yay. Okay, guys. So for this video, I wanna talk about pharmacy school. So I wanna talk about how I knew, you know, pharmacy school is where God wanted little old Marcelago, you know, to be little old big body Mars to be. Anyway, so I have a whole story how this is, the, how I know like this is where God wanted me to be. So I really want y'all to think about it. Like when you're watching this video, you know, how do you know the career you're in is where God wants you to be? How do you know the school you're in is where God wants you to do? To be, how do you know the profession you're currently studying for? is where god wanted you to be like you know it could have been a sign you know a dream something anything you know to let you know that's where god wanted you to be so i'm gonna share my personal story with you guys it makes me so excited to share it i'm always so happy talking about it because you know i really just want to share it with the world like i didn't think this is where it was supposed to be but here it is stay tuned so um, I had different ideas of like different, um, I guess, career paths or professions that I wanted to be in. I wanted to be a pediatrician, I wanted to be a physical therapist, I wanted to be a dentist and all that just kind of went down the drain, especially with dentistry because I took the DAT, bombed it, and then I was like, okay, I don't know, but if I want to do this but after I graduated from undergrad I was like you know what I'm just you know continue studying for the DAT so I can go to dental school because I was like shoot you know I want people to have nice teeth shoot <laughs> I got nice teeth so <laughs> why not and I was like okay cool you know what why not let's do this but then it just kind of seemed a little hard and I was like man I don't want to stress like you know I can't come and kill myself like I, I ain't got time to be stressing I'm not trying to stress so um literally one of my friends was like yo mercy let's do pharmacy and i was like what why and she was like shoot you know people are doing pharmacy and we have friends already in pharmacy school and i was like shoot why not let's go for it let's do pharmacy because at this point we need to do something we need to do anything and at that time it seemed like pharmacy everybody was getting in so we were like shoot why not us why we can't do it so we're like, okay, cool. So we started preparing for the um, PCAT. So I'm getting ready, you know, getting, looking at schools that we wanted to go to, schools that needed the PCAT scores and schools that didn't need the PCAT scores. So we're like, okay, cool. I guess a pharmacy is where it is at. After we made the decision to go to pharmacy school, um, I remember I was working at Enterprise at the time. I remember one time a customer called, you know, Enterprise, I was there customer service representative so he called and he was like you know the red was like hello thank you for calling enterprise mercy speaking how may i assist you and you know he was talking about what call he wanted what he wanted da -da -da. this is in the third so i was like, okay cool so then he hung up and then he called back and then he was like is this mercy i was like yes sir he was like um god told me you're not where you need to be but he's gonna get you there and I'm like, whoa, what does that mean? So I was like, can I talk to you when you come in? You know, just to ask you a couple questions. And I was just kind of freaking out because I was like, shoot, why didn't God tell me that? Like, I don't know what that means. But I guess at the time, you know, I wasn't really obedient enough in God's word for me to be able to hear him, you know, be able to discern his voice if he's telling me something to do something or what he wants me to do, what he doesn't want me to do. So I said, okay, cool. 
so the whole time before he came here i'm freaking out like i'm talking to my co-workers i'm like what does that mean like am i not supposed to go to pharmacy school and i was just freaking out you guys i was freaking out so anyway the man came in i talked to him we had a great conversation i was like okay cool then you know so then i started thinking about how all the other professions that i wanted to do i didn't really want to do them for the right reasons and then i realized pharmacy when i actually thought about doing it i wanted to do it for the right reasons so i was like wow maybe this is what that means like i actually have a heart to do it for the right reasons not just for my own personal benefits so i was like okay maybe this is where god wants me to be so i was like let's go for it let's see what's gonna happen so anyways after the man i was just like you know what yep this is it this is what i'm gonna do so me and my friend kept studying for the pecan we studied we studied she took it once you know you guys i literally took it three times and all three times i bombed it you guys i bombed it literally the first time i took it i got an 18 and I was like, oh my gosh, like, what if this is what the man meant? Like, you know, maybe pharmacy is not the place for me to be in. So I was like, okay, cool. So I took it a second time. I got a 16. And at this point, I'm already freaking out. And then my friend was like, mercy, like, you know, stop stressing. Like, don't stress. But I'm, I'm a stressor. Like, I be stressing. So I was stressing and she was like, nah, don't stress. Just apply because she already applied. So I was like, okay, well, fine. I'm going to just apply, you know, even though I have an 18 and a 16. I'm going to use the 18 because, you know, that's a little bit higher. So um, I applied to several schools. I applied to PCOM. I applied to Howard University. <laughs> HU, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Washington State in Spokane. I applied to Auburn University. Um, like a whole bunch of schools. So I was like, okay, cool. Send my application. And at this point, I still have you know to take the peak at one last time so i was like you know what i'm gonna study i'm gonna take it one last time i studied and i took it one last time you guys i got a freaking 12 so first time 18 second time 16 third time at 12 and at this point it's like dang mercy you really you really just wasted money and i was like yeah i was so sad literally after all that it was to the point where i just started thinking like dang man like am i really am i not smart like i took this exam three times and all three times i failed and i just failed like my scores kept decreasing to the point where my parents were like mercy maybe you should think about nursing as a backup plan and i don't blame them like you know parents care about you they want you to always have a backup plan something to fall back on so at the point like i was kind of depressed because i was like i didn't want to do nursing well not really depressed i was sad because i was like man i don't want to do nursing like it's not my passion you know shout out to the nurses y'all do a great job my mom is a nurse shout out to you mom you know but i was just like it wasn't calling my name like nursing just wasn't calling me but i was like you know what i'm gonna do it as a backup plan but i'm still apply to the school sending my applications whatnot so i sent in my applications and literally i got an interview with howard and you guys howard was always my number one choice and i got an interview with howard first and i was like freaking out but i was excited i told my parents they were happy you know so i went to the howard interview the interview was great and literally after that interview the next thing i know washington state in spokane called me for an interview and I was like, man, do I really want to go there? But my mom was like, just take the opportunity to go. You don't want to miss any opportunities. Like that might be the school you get accepted into. So just go. My mom said, go. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go. So I went. And literally, you guys, the same day I had my interview with Washington State, Howard called me to tell me I had got accepted into Howard University College of Yeah, I was so excited. I was like, whoa, I literally just got into Howard University. I called my parents first, and then I called my friend because she applied to Howard too. And we were like, shoot, we're about to be going to the same school. And I was so hyped. I was so excited. So literally after that, I was like, man, do I really want to go to my interview with Washington State? And literally like an hour after the interview, they gave me my acceptance letter in my hand. They said, here you go. You've been accepted into Washington state college of pharmacy i was like whoa like it was just wild two acceptance letters in one day when i didn't think whatsoever that i would get into any pharmacy school 
So I was like, hmm, God, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so after I got accepted into both of the schools, I came back home. And when I came back home, he called me, well, sent me an email, asked me to go to the interview. I went to the interview and it's so crazy because like I have so many people, friends that go to PCOM that I know. Shout out to you guys. You guys were a great help, a big help in me getting into pharmacy school. So shout out to y'all. Thank y'all so much, you know. And um, literally, I'm kind of half later, they sent me a letter and an email saying I had got accepted into PCOM. So I was like, okay, cool, you know, maybe this is what God meant because the whole time I was just like, am I supposed to be in pharmacy school? But even with that, like I even had applied to Arben and Arben called me, um, sent me an email, asked me to go to the interview, but I was like, shoot, I already got into three schools. Like I don't need to waste money to go to Arben, well, Auburn, because Howard was my number one choice anyway. So I declined that interview, but I was happy that at least they called me for the interview. And literally, you guys, I had got accepted into three pharmacy schools. Mind you, I did not do good on the PCAT three times, 18, 16, 12, all three times. And when I graduated undergrad, my GPA was a 2.91. And I still had to take like um, organic chemistry two and physics two for pharmacy school. I took those. They kind of rammed my GPA down a little bit because I was, those, were, those weren't my strongest subjects. So that kind of made me like worried even more that I was like, man, my GPA is like a two point, probably 2.8 by now. I failed the PCAT three times, you know? But it was like, you guys, what God has meant for you, no man can take it away. Because literally, I feel like this is one of those things that might be like, oh my God, like that's so impossible. But it's like, it says nothing is impossible to God. I thought it was impossible, but God was like, mercy, like, do you not know who I am? Daughter, are you doubting me? And it was like, no God, I'm not doubting you. And mind you, literally, like even before I got my interview at Howard, it was a time where I was like, so I started from social media and literally I didn't get back on social media until I got my acceptance letter to Howard and Washington State. That's when I was like, God, like, I'm glad I took the time from something that I was so into to give you the time and to just focus on spending time with you and asking you, praying for what I really want. And that's really what happened, y'all. Like, got accepted into three pharmacy schools with a bad GPA and a bad PCAT score that I never thought I could make it into. I really feel like the moral of my story is, you know, people really be like, man, how do I know this is what God wants for me? But I feel like if you're really seeking him to seek the answer to the question that you have, you're gonna get that answer and you know it doesn't always happen right then and there like it might take a week you know i mean it might happen right then and there it might take a couple of days it might take a week a couple of months but he will always let you know what he wants you to do it's all about patient like you have to patiently hope for what you're asking him for and you have to believe that whatever it is that you're asking for is gonna come to pass like it's gonna happen because he's gonna do it for you and I just feel like I didn't really even realize that, um, I feel like I didn't really realize that until like recently when I started being like more intentional in my walk with God, I started to realize like, mercy, this is where he wanted you to be. Back then I was just like, oh yes. But now it's like when I actually think down and think about it, this is where he wanted me to be. And especially at Howard University College of Pharmacy by saying HU, you know, <laughs> like I know this is where he wanted me to be, and I'm so hyped about it. Like every time I think about it, I'm like, yes, I'm where he wanted me to be. I'm positioned where he wanted me to be, you know. So I just want to encourage you guys, you know, really think about it. Whatever profession you're in, whatever school you go to, whatever career, you know, all of that really think about it be like is this where god wanted me to be but this video is just to encourage you guys like you know no matter how bad you're doing if it's in god's plan it's gonna work out for you in the end run because look at me i'm a living testimony baby it happened for me you know terrible gpa not terrible i thank god for the gpa i had gpa wasn't so great you know didn't do good on my exams three times but look where i'm at y'all i just 
finished my first semester of my second year of pharmacy school and I couldn't be happier. I'm so proud of me. <laughs> Yay me. I'm so excited. But I'm so excited for you guys as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you share this video. It can touch somebody. It can encourage somebody. I'm really grateful and thankful that you guys tuned in. Stay tuned over this Christmas break because your girlfriend will be dropping some gems each and every week. Well, don't quote me on that. But I'm going to be dropping some stuff for y'all. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all keep watching. Share with people. Your mama, your daddy, your grandpa, your grandma, everybody. Come on in. Big Body Merch YouTube channel is welcome to all. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.